Assuming that this dude's been working on this for uh, almost five years now, uh, I think it came into like Steam through the Greenlight program, or not the Greenlight, but the Early Access on Steam uh, almost a year ago. Uh, from what I can tell, that might be slightly longer. I only really found out about this because it popped up in you know, Steam discovery thing and I emailed the dude and said is there a demo so that I can check this out and he just sent me a key um, and that might I have something to do with the fact that I uh, did say you know I you stream YouTube and things like that so um, so yeah I have put in I guess like 12 hours into the game so far. I've only done a, a single player. There's apparently going to be an MMO incarnation of it, but it's not there yet, uh, which is a good thing. Um, and then there's this ghost mode, which apparently just keeps your character on, this, on their servers. And they're saying that if you live outside Europe, then don't use it because it's, it's not going to go well. So I have not tried ghost mode. Um, but there is a single player version of the game, which is what I'm messing with. And and that's good because in my opinion, without that, unless there's you know PvP disabled, it's just gonna turn into another sociopath simulator and, and uh, fuck those things. Fuck them right here. <sighs> so Noah's Inceptio is like uh, the new beginning, I believe. Or it's supposed, like, maybe it's pseudo Latin. I read the press kit, and, um, like, there's this story that's like people were around, and we fucked everything up, and, like, we killed each other, and so God or gods decided, well, shit, we'll try again, and so there's, there's just one of you. Oh, and it cloned me already. Well, that's nice. So, I thought I was going to start off as the robot. Because that's where I uh, exited the game, but it just started me again. And you press this button, and you wait a couple seconds, and you come up with a new dude. And, uh... And there's this robot that follows you around. And apparently this robot is supposed to keep you from creating another nuclear holocaust, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. But you start off as a dude at the age of 18, and you play until you hit 75. And that takes about six hours of real game time, because you age 10 years in an hour. And it creates a mechanic that I really... I really don't understand the purpose behind. Um, but they say that this is going to... You know, there's going to be that whole aging and, and generational thing that's going to come into play. But when you pop into the world, um, you, you just wander around and you'll be naked. And as you can see from uh, this, I am not naked. I have sword and shield and armor and all that because I've been playing the game and I've got a house. It's really crappy because the building tools are cumbersome. But you just kind of wander around and you you do stuff. Now, there are these occasional, like, random events, which is, I guess, supposedly the procedural generation stuff. And you just go and you do it. And there's things like this that are really uh, 
lame and lackluster. Because, oh boy, that was exciting. If I pray again, something interesting will happen. It won't, but... Oh, God. Huh? <laughs> Appropriate that I should bitch about that by saying God. Um, and there are these creator chests, which sometimes they have recipes, sometimes they have materials in them. And, and yeah. So you go around, um, you hit the one and the two key to botanize and forage and get stuff and you basically build up from having nothing to having an entire uh, bevy of tools like you know I have axes and stones and sewing needles and, and all kinds of stuff so that I can come up to this you know iron ore deposit and mine it And then I can come over here to this big rock and I can mine it. And I can, in, in mining it, I can get lots of rocks. If I have not yet built a pickaxe, then I can just forage. And foraging is based on another, it's just a, an inherent skill that you start with to try to get rocks. And then you use those rocks to get the, you know, um, well, here I'll. So you would forage, and here you get, you know, raw stones. And then you open up your crafting menu, and you see, well, shit, I need a pickaxe. And in order to make a pickaxe, I need a blade, a twine, and a handle. So to make the handle, I need a shaft or an ingot. How to make a, sh a shaft? Well, I need a stick of wood. How do I get a stick of wood? I need a branch. So you come over here, and you go, well, shit, where's the tree? There's a bunch of trees over here. Um, yeah, tree. And if there's wolves, we're going to run away because we're only, I guess, level three and I'm in a level 20 area because I've been wandering around. But, uh, like here, I need, let's, uh, I guess get some resin from this because why not? And we'll get some bark because why not? And then we'll get some branches. Notice none of these require any actual tools. So I open up the crafting thing. I go back to this tool. And there's this nice deal where... Uh, what was the name? I was making a pickaxe. Where I can click on these items to get to uh, where they are. Like this handle I needed to make a shaft. To make a shaft, I need, I need the uh, branch. And I can just autofill that and it'll automatically put it in there. And then I go previous recipe and I can find that shaft and click it because that's one I want to use and I can craft it. Unfortunately when I click previous recipe it it literally goes to the previous one. It doesn't have a memory of where you were so you got to go find these other things. Um, I can pickaxe and if I go autofill well it can only put in that handle that I made. So what else do I need? I need a blade, which I can make out of a raw rock. And that rock I got was there. So I can craft it. The previous, what do I need? I need another blade. Rock. Craft it. Notice now I have more of the stuff filled in. And you just keep on going with these things. That, that was from the leaves to make fiber. From the fiber here, I'll make twine. And then unfortunately, again, I have to go back to tools, uh, that pickaxe, but now I have everything I need. And I can make a brand new pickaxe. And then I take the pickaxe, I put it in my, in my tool belt, and then I would be able to mine more things. So there's a very sensible way of how everything is built up um, from from basically nothing into making, you know, uh, everything that you need. 
without a whole bunch of effort. Uh, as far as building tools and stuff, there are hopefully uh, in the new morning that altar will be gone and there will be another thing and I'll be able to show you something different. Those, because those, uh, the procedural generation doesn't feel so much procedural within the world so much as it's just like random. And I think there's a problem in the gaming community with confusing random and procedural generation. Because one is just random, the other one is procedural. But, um, see, here's that pickaxe that I just made. And this is my player backpack, and this is this, the A2A, which is the, the robot right there. Um, he has his own inventory, and while it says that he can only hold 100 kilograms of stuff, Right now, in the, in the alpha, you can load him up with all the shit you want, and it's fucking great. Um, I had this dude carrying like a thousand kilograms, like a metric ton of stuff, literally. Except that it's all digital, so it's... anyway. Uh, which is which is really nice. Also, when you start off the game, you only have a carrying capacity of like 25 kilos. Um, but as you wander around, you get stronger, and so now I'm up to almost 50, which is very helpful. But... This is what I'm going to do with that axe. So I'm going to open up this shop that's at all these terminals. And there's things that you can buy here. Let's sort them out. There's some raw materials of which you need to buy empty bottles. Because I haven't, I don't know if maybe you can craft them later or not. But, but you need lots of empty bottles. You don't want to buy a water bottle because you can just go fill it up from a water source. Um, but there's these the blueprints which you know, you, I guess, can spend a fuck ton on. And then there's these special things and then, and then things that, uh, yeah, you, you need a lot of, of currency for. And let us note that that axe that I just made, that, not weapon, but tool, sells for one as long as I ain't got nothing else to do with it. That one unit axe was made from uh, stones and other things. Let's see, where are the stones? It's not letting me sell stones. Raw stone. Let's see. Maybe it won't let you sell everything. Um, but all these things you can find, they all sell for one. Like these fiber leaves sell for one unit of currency, but something that we use to make it also sells for one unit of currency. So the whole currency system right now is is, is bullshit. Uh, just just straight up bullshit. It also doesn't make sense that this stone sword does more damage than this steel sword. But you know, be that as it may, you're eventually going to want to you know, pony up some cash to buy water bottles. And it is well worth it. And the stuff that you can find to sell is so easily available. It's for the, the small ticket items like that, it's it's fine. But right now the currency system is is stupidly fucked up. Um Oh and as I said you start off as a dude and if you notice up here in the corner it says, you know, I mean it tells you you're a dude which I guess since you can never see your character from the front, who would know? Uh, they are saying that, or the, the single guy's name is Martin, or Marcus Martin Morawski or something, that I, or Morani. I, it's, it's a Czech name, and, and I, I apologize, I can't remember Czech names very well. But it's just one dude working on this whole thing, so, so that, that in mind, it's, it's kind of impressive. But... Uh, he says that there will eventually be uh, females added to the game. Um, but yeah, you basically just wander around and eventually... See, do I have a torch? I do. Um, 
but eventually you can build a house like this. And isn't it lovely? No, no, it's not. But it takes a lot of raw materials to build a fucking house. And as you will notice, I'm I'm still not done. Because uh, like like the top of this roof, I can't fill in because I don't have the recipes for. Um, like that, like house building recipes are not are not all there. Opening up this, it says a to concurrently replicate 47 blueprints, and there's 168 that you have to find randomly, which feels super super bad, especially when some of them are like this claim land paper, which I found, and like I can. Like, I can make ancient cores because I can find ancient crystals, and hopefully we'll get to a part where I can show you that. But then integrated circuits, well, for all that, you need electronics. For electronics, you need electrical, electromechanical things. For electromechanical things, you need mechanical components. For mechanical co components, you need scrap metal. But I don't know how to make scrap metal. Um, and apparently it can be found in the world somewhere, but I have no fucking idea where. So, so yeah, it, it feels kind of bad. Um, I mean, as far as the graphics, right now you can't really see very well because uh, it's nighttime. But the graphics aren't bad. The, the trees are actually fairly well, um, you know, animated. But uh, the guy actually, oh god, what's the name of the fucking software? It was on the title screen, and I can't remember. But there, there's software out there that's like designed for making awesome-looking uh, trees, so so that makes sense. But you can farm and and get corn and all these other things. You know, just pick up stuff, and if if you're lucky, you'll get seeds back. Uh, like here, I got a corn. Uh, strawberry seed. Uh, and I'll put, you know, put you exactly back where you were. And I'll take the corn seed and I'll put you exactly back where you were. And I can water it. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm not going to screw the composting or anything else like that. But filling up, you know, water is pretty painless. If you can build a well, which is easy to do. Um, and then you just you just build everything from scratch. And I am certain that none of this is new. There's they're just from uh, mechanics from games that I've never played, uh, like Ark or or anything, because I don't like sociopath simulators. And what's appealing to me in this right now is that because it's all single player, um, I I don't have to deal with any of that crap. Uh, right now I'm just irritated by how much raw materials I have to to accumulate because for example to build this uh, it took me about five hours to build to design and then get all the raw materials over for because um, I didn't want to denude this place I mean I, I mean leaves are fine but I didn't want to chop down all these trees and as an objection the building tool is kind of a pain in the ass. Like, if you want to reposition the camera so you can do this, uh, it resets itself kind of weirdly. See, I mean, it keeps resetting, and that's frustrating. Uh, if you want to get in here into the house, um, that can be annoying. So, so like, if you get in here and you want to change your perspective again, because, like, let's say you come in here and, and you do stuff to this, if you want to readjust, you have to come back to this initial point, which is very, very frustrating. So I can come in here and, like, roof. Uh, I'm going to add a corner, you know, to this part. And then, you know, just some regular thatch in here. And that's fairly, you know, benign, but let's say I want to do another part of the house. I. When I go to reposition the camera, I, it resets me, and that's that's a pain in the butt. And I I can't really fill this up because, like, let's say I, I try to add more um, more here, it, it 
it doesn't work too well because, well, I can't actually reach it to build it. Like, like let's let's look at and and try to put. I'm trying to put a corners here, and I can't position it properly. See, it's just it's just not working with me at all, and that's very frustrating. Or to just like add a top to this, I can't do that because I haven't found those pieces yet. Like like there's this medieval style which is stone, and and I could use that somewhere except that I can't uh, because I only have this one piece. And then there's no high tech stuff. As a matter of fact, for all of the high tech stuff that there is, I've only found this one piece which is uh, this thing and I don't even know what it is and if I wanted to make it um, you know I, I don't even know what it needs let's see manufacture <laughs> I need that claim land paper which I can't build because of all that other crap um, so there's no real point to that But as far as as combat, I should be able to find some stuff to fight over on the other side of this, of uh, my base. Um, combat in this game so far sucks. Again, it's really access, and there's only one dude working on it. So, so maybe that's okay for right now. Um, uh, let's go ahead and. Um, but for right now, it's it's very disheartening, uh, especially because if you want to do any kind of exploration, uh, it it's very discouraging to get into combat and realize it's going to take you like like three minutes to kill something because you do virtually no damage, and they do um, an incredible amount of. Now that deer right there is not going to be very hard to kill. So I can swap out my torch for my sword fairly easily. Come up to the deer. Let's try this again. And, and I'm essentially... blinded by the glare of the sun. But notice it's got like 90 freaking health and I've managed to hit it twice. And I can't get into combat with it because I'm in the safe zone, which is annoying as fuck. But I hit it twice and I did one point of damage each time, so I have to hit it 90 times. Um, and I have a sword made out of the best material I can find. It's made out of... Oh, this one's made out of iron. I have one that's made out of steel. But it does only marginally more damage. And my display froze. Oh, okay. I entered I entered that rift. Uh, if I want to go back out, then there's this. And so... As far as combat goes, in your opening... In, around your initial area, it's fine, but if you try to explore any distance away, it's it's pointless. But here's one of those rifts. This is where that altar used to be, and now this is where it is. And this is that supposed um, procedural generation, in that it puts you in a thing where you can find mushrooms and get these ancient crystals. And they're useful uh, for a couple recipes, to be sure. And you... you do use them for things. But really the, the best part about these is that there's more fi more opportunities to find those treasure chests, uh, quote unquote, from the creators. And, and get uh, designs. But you, of course you can get duplicate designs, which you sell. 
um, and so on. Well, I can go in through this. At this point, I don't need any more mushrooms, really. Um, and, and I don't need any more crystals. But you just kind of go through. And they have an identical layout every single time. I could come over here and I look at this. This must be the end of the room. And I'm going to look around over here. Hopefully there will be a treasure chest, but there's not. Um, but so I just... I just am done. And I supposedly explored that and and I didn't really have anything to show for it. So so yeah. There's not a lot to the game yet. I mean, I'm, you know, as it says on its own screen. This is early access. Oh, here I am. Here's a wolf. And I'm under attack. And I have no idea where the wolf is. Uh, and I know it's a wolf because wolves are the only things that attack here. Oh, there it is. But see, he's level 19. And he's got like 120 health, which is a little bit more than me, which is fine. A oh, level 17. Um, and, and so I'm going to engage him. Our circles overlap and I'm going to slash at him. And notice I'm doing like one or two points of damage each time. And... I can block his attack. Now I can let him hit me, and he does, holy fuck, he does all the fucking damage. So let's drink a potion, because I made one. Uh, and then let's bandage my wounds, uh, like this. And I heal for like almost nothing. But see, I'm doing virtually no damage so this goes you know carpet tunnel sim simulator as well and it just goes on and on and on like that um, so it's not really worth your while at these higher uh, places on the map to, to do any of that so just kind of run away and you know, part of the reason for that is here, while this says a start area, that's not where I actually started. I actually started... I clicked off the game. Hang on. I started way over here at this point. Um, 49.76. There we go. That's the one we'll go to. can set a waypoint like that and, and just head off. Oh, here's something. What is this? Something killed this wolf. I have no idea what. Yay. Okay, whatever. I'm not going to lift a, look a gift wolf in the mouth. But you can pretty, pretty much just, in this world, decide where you're going to go. And look, there's another one of these random thingies. And this camera is filthy. Now there are... Oh, okay. Cool. There are some other ones. Like, there's this um, deserty place, which, if I recall correctly, there's a brief text blurb that... Flat, that pops up and says something like um, you're in the desert in the 1600s or something like that. And there's another one where you're teleported to the 1940s. And it's it's snowy and there's some crashed airplanes. Which is kind of interesting, I think. Um, except that like you wander through here and, and there's nothing here at all I mean you know well okay I guess there's this treasure box that if you know that's uh, not the easiest thing to find but okay so it's got some stuff in it like I tried to botanize here or forage here there's nothing to either botanize or forage here so right now these uh, anomalies don't really have have much use 
Uh, which is something that I imagine will change between now and, and its final release. Um, I think he even says somewhere, uh, either on his website or, or somewhere, that, that he knows that the anomalies are, are crap, but that they're placeholders for stuff that he's going to make later. So. so he's got an interesting idea sitting here, um, and I imagine he's just working on, on other things before then. I will say that uh, here's the exit right here, and then there's this, like, Dagon thing. No, I mean, not like not Dagon, but Dagon, like uh, uh, Innsmouth. You come out here and, and you can actually swim out there and check it out. Well, let's go ahead and drink. And also, let us uh, let's fill our water bottles. Fill all with water. dive. And actually, interestingly, here you actually can forage. Which is weird. But you swim out here and, and then there's this uh, big-ass fish. And by about the time you get out here, it's going to tell you, okay, you're done and you're going to automatically get teleported out. So, I am really curious about that. There's that bunny rabbit from before I went in. Because uh, I don't know what's up with that bunny rabbit. But there's a problem now. Because my waypoint disappeared. Not this waypoint that I created, but... Uh, that one. Notice now it's on the screen again. So, there's a ton of stuff in this game that's fixed by opening up the map closing it. Uh, like, especially in the tutorial. I, I had to restart, actually, because the tutorial uh, bugged out. Um, but, you know, like, how do you know where you want to go? Well, you just pick a direction and and go. I, I didn't... I was going to let myself get killed uh, to show you what happens when you die. Um, basically, when you die, you your body is gone, but you have to uh, uh, you start controlling the the robot thing, and let's see, you can go do south from here. You start controlling the robot, and you have to go back to one of these these pillars of light. Oh, by the way, there's some clipping issues here with the camera which is confusing because here there's water uh, you know on top of the rock here the water's underneath the rock so it's a, a little bit weird but this is basically everything that there is to to the game How do I emerge? I'm gonna drown, aren't I? Oh no, here we go. Uh, this is basically everything that there is to the game. Now, if I recall correctly, he's asking... Oh my god, the frame rate on YouTube is horrible. If I recall correctly, I think uh, the game is asking uh, for 20 bucks right now, which is part of why I inquired about a demo version because I wasn't sure I wanted to, to check this out yet um, and apparently now I can fly up hills which I suppose is fine there we go uh, now let's go through the tutorial Um, start a new game and play. Oh, speed tree, there we go. First thing we're going to do is look at the map and see if it's an identical map. A 
as soon as it finishes generating the world, I guess. Okay, so let's look at the map. If there's an island over here with a tower on it. Okay, so the map is identical. Um, but the tutorial in this game, while it has some really bad English, is awesome. This is a great tutorial. The problem is, again, you have to you open up the map to to close it. Like here, it brings us up, and that's fine. Open up the map, close it, and you can you go on to the next step. Now I don't know why why that's broken, but but you know it it really does do a great job of walking you through all of the interface and stuff, which is great. Um, now here for you know going to this waypoint. Oh, that's right. These are uh, windowed, not open. Hopefully it'll start raining so I can show off that, because, I mean, I'll say right now that the rain effects are horrible, but but the proof will be in, in the smear. There's, if I recall correctly, going to be a... Like, yeah, there's an altar over here. So you just come here and, you know, it shows go to the waypoint, tells you what it means to do. And then here it starts to pick up and actually work again so you don't have to open up the map. But it tells you, hey, you know, hit one and two to do the botanizing and foraging. Um... You know, this is just how you get stuff. Here's, you know, that waypoint again. Um, then you can eat, you know, open your inventory, press I, eat the apple. Press four to drink water. Water is also necessary necessary to, to do stuff you got to go to this waypoint first off what we're going to do is we're going to come pray at this just because it's here and there's a box of treasure on the other side there's also mushrooms here as you can see as you can see that's rather underwhelming um, and notice my carry oh my carry capacity is uh, 37 and I was up to 40 so maybe your, your carry capacity is your like 37 plus your generations um, and here the crafting thing notice that that claim uh, claim land isn't there anymore it's that that was the recipe that I found which considering the game wants what like 100 uh, 10,000 or 100,000 credits for it. I mean, that, that was a lucky thing. And here's what I was talking about before. I mean, you can forage the stone to get some raw rocks and use one, you know, use a stone to make the, the pickaxe and and, you know, there, there's nothing particularly egregious in the way of that building thing. But speaking specifically of building like the roof i don't have any kind of roof stuff so there's there's a lot of parts to to building things that that you just don't have like i don't even have a door um you know to start off with so so your initial building stuff is is a pain in the butt but here we're going through the tutorial so again, go to the water, and it opens this up, and it says, you must be standing in water to drink. And also, so that you can fill this with water. Um, and then collection of raw materials. 
uh, every object in the game is a source of raw materials of some kind, which is not really true because there are some objects that you can't really interact with. Um, but when it says you can get something from everything, because you can always forage anywhere, you're fine. Like, like here, this bit of dirt. Well, I can pick up some algae and I can pick up a trout from this dirt. And then when I come over here into the grass, it, it's just a different zone setup. So that when I forage or botanize, I don't get anything. Maybe there's an internal cooldown on that. I just can't find. Um, so, so here I am, clay and sand and raw stone. So to continue, what I must do is I must marvel at the fact that this tree is sitting in the middle of the air. And notice that the tree is not solid. But let's go ahead and go to this waypoint. Um, heavy materials are automatically moved to the A2A's inventory, the key N. But notice that the N key and the I key open up the same thing, which is not really very important. So I come over here collecting raw materials, press 1 to botanize, press 2 to forage. Uh, and what am I supposed to do here? Um, go to a place that shows a waypoint. Oh, pick a branch. Here we go, let's pick some branches. And pick some leaves. And now it explains the crafting system really well. So again, this may have a lot of problems, but but it is not in any way obscure. I mean, it tells you here, craft a fucking axe, and it explains how to do it. Oh, and it's, it's not going to let me buy that, bypass that. But, you know, here's that axe, uh, crude axe, so I need a branch and a rock, and I need some fiber to make fiber, I need raw vegetables. Um... And, and, and bam, there you go. It says, after you make it, stick it in your fucking tool belt. After you make, you know, put it in your tool belt. Well, shit, dude, let's chop down a tree. Right, let's pick some leaves first. Oh, it says pick, make a hammer. Um, so let's make a hammer. Tools. Hammer. What, can, what do I need? I need some shit. I need to make some twine. So I need to make two pieces of fiber. Autofill. Craft. Dude, check this shit out. Make the twine, autofill, craft that shit. And then crap, I can't go previous anymore, but but where are we at? Uh, hammer. And I need a handle. How to make a handle and make a shaft. Uh, how, you know, how to how to make the shaft go over here? Autofill. Craft. Previous. I'm just talking about shaft. Tools. What do I need now? Autofill. I need I need some head. Uh, Autofill. I need two heads. Craft. Previous. Autofill. And, and I got a stone hammer. If I'd made it out of wood, it'd be like an oak or a cedar hammer. But so I got all that stuff. And it tells you create create a hammer uh, to continue to put this in your tool belt. Okay, and and like there you go, like you can go do whatever the hell you want. This requires a pickaxe. How to make a pickaxe? I go through here and I look. I look at pickaxe, and you can just you can just build it. And so, it, as far as starting you off, it's actually pretty great. <clears throat> um, but let's go find something to kill. Let's go kill that doe or deer, or whatever the hell it is. Um, hello, Amphib Amphi Bankrupt. Thank you for watching. Uh, I don't know that it's really a, a No Man's Sky hybrid because you don't fly anywhere. You just run around everywhere. But comparing it to Minecraft would actually be really good. Um, so let's go ahead and kill this deer. I got this crude stone knife that it starts you off with, and it's going to run away. And bam.
and from there at the end of the tutorial, I think there's actually uh, more to it than that. Um, let's see, skill bar, and this game logic. I mean, you look in here and it explains everything you need, which I think is 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 pretty fucking nice. But I don't want to say there's nothing to do in it in the game. It's just there's no direction in the game. Um, I mean, sure, I can do all this stuff, but okay, now what? And for some people who just want a very mellow uh, running around simulator, you know, maybe that that's that's not bad. As as I said, my, that other character that I made was uh, Generation Three, so there's obviously. I mean, I didn't just like struggle through. Uh, like 13 hours of, of play just for the sake of making a video. If it had been a pain in the ass, this would be a lot shorter. Um, so there is there is stuff here. It's just... You know, if you don't know what you're going to do, then then you don't really know what you're going to do. Like, you know, because here's this, this same layout as uh, in the other rift that I went through. And you go through this, and it's like, well, okay, I'm, I'm going through this, and why? Um, so there's really, there's really a, a, a dearth of, oh, I have no stamina. There's a dearth of things to do right now, and that, that's a huge problem with the game. A huge problem with it, um, and, and, and I'm tired of, of, of this. Oh, where did my mouse go? Let's do this. There we go. Um, there's a real dearth of, of things to do in it, which is something that'll get fixed. But for now, it's it's an early access game being made by a single person, so. So that's understandable, but from a consumer's point of view, it's really disheartening. Um, let's see, that's my waypoint. Where where was I going? See, so I have to reset the waypoint that I'm going to. How far away is the one that I'm going to? Uh, 4183. You know, but, you know, okay, so I'm going there, but... I'm only going there so that... I, I, I guess I'm, I'm doing something? Um... And that, that's that's a problem with it for right now. I really hope he's going to get be in a position soon that he can hire more people to help him generate content. And, and content's probably the wrong word, but more um, so they can just really start. Y yeah, content. I mean, the base mechanics of the game, other than combat, are sound. You know, wandering around, crafting, things like that, and and the rarity of of finding certain materials or recipes is, it, I mean, that's a simple numbers tree. You know, you can just change that, you know, so that you find recipes more often or he changes it so that you can, um, you know, start with all the recipes that you need to, to build a decent looking house. Um, like, like also there's, there's a recipe to make papyrus and it says it's a basic writing material used to produce other complex recipes, but I have no idea what those recipes are. And and so like I've made a piece of papyrus just just to make it. And uh, making things relates to your skills. I should have thought of this before. So in here there's gonna be like paper making or uh, papyrus making. And and what do I do with that skill? Like praying is a skill. Um. You know what? What do I what do I do with it? 
without without knowing that, I don't know. And I've looked online, and there does not yet seem to be a, a uh, wiki resource uh, of some kind that lists all of that, which is frustrating. Um, again, here's that combat. And, like, I stab at him from Hell's Heart and do one point of damage. So what's the point of, of killing him? When they're closer to your level, it's a lot more worthwhile because they die more quickly, and uh, you know, so so you can kill them more quickly. Like here, here's another rift. Notice I was surrounded by enemies. Uh, I come in here, and I'm not going to bother to go through, through any of this, uh, which is nice. You can just like leave right away. And when I leave the rift, all those same enemies are are still going to be there. Except now I have no idea where I was going, because my waypoint disappeared, but I can get it back. Again, opening and closing the map really fixes a lot of stuff. Um, there are some other events. There's the uh, the, the prayer rock. Uh, there's those rifts. Like here, I think this is going to be another praying thing. There's one where you just pick mushrooms. Uh, there's one where you have to water plants. There's one where um, you have to have a sword already made, uh, or at least you know get a sword, and then chop down some bushes, and that lets you access a, a store terminal to buy seeds. But as the same problem with the store terminal in um, in the cloning centers. Uh, stuff is so expensive that, you know, it's like, okay, whoopee, I, I can buy something, but I can't afford anything. So there's no real point to that. And here's a skull, though. This is new. I can pick it up and I'll get some fossils, as opposed to bones, which is frustrating. Um, but, you know, now I'm at the point of this that... that that I, I got nothing to do. Can't finish my, ho my house, and it's too tedious to try to find uh, more recipes. Um, one of the reasons why I did start moving out so far away, because notice now I'm, I, uh, I'm in a level 10 area, is because I figured, well, if you go further away, you'll be able to find better recipes in these rifts, but that hasn't been the case. And this is something that the developers noted and said, yeah, I know, um, that's, you know, but don't worry about it, I'll, I'll take care of it. And that's just a numbers tweak. Um, so, also, notice how fucking old I am now. I started this particular guy at 18, and in running two kilometers, roughly, I'm now uh, six years older. It's taken me six years to run two kilometers. And that goes back to the to, to the question of what is the point of the aging mechanic? Um, I don't have a character that, that's close to the, you know dying of old age, but dying of old age is just simply uh, you crumple to the ground and then you have to go clone yourself. Um, and here's something that's going to be weird. So You know, as you as you spin the camera around, there's audio distortion, like a Doppler effect, which is weird, and it seems to only happen with mining. So, again, the developer says he's aware of a lot of these things and and that he'll work on them. But it's one guy, and you know how fast is he going to get to to do some of this stuff? Like here's level eight deer with forty health. This one should actually die pretty quickly. Just look, I'm doing three damage, four damage. If I can catch up to him. But this is what I'm saying about combat being so crappy. Now that, see, like, you know, here's a sunk cost fallacy that, you know, keep chasing it because it takes so freaking long. But, 
you know, getting fat's useful because you can use that to make candles and you need cotton and some other things. I'm going to go through this to see if it's a different one other than that same tunnel or the, the desert. Oh, okay, so this is the one where you're in 1940. So, in here, really, there there is nothing to do in this except continue to go on. Like, the fact that it's, it's kind of raining and that it's negative 21 Celsius, uh, which means it's, it's super fucking cold. That's, I mean, that's like negative temperatures even in Fahrenheit. You know, but I look at this and I see the lampposts and, um, you know, the airplane wreckage and then the fact that there is an elevator here eventually. So, I mean, I mean, there's interesting, there's interesting stuff going on here. It's just not really, really well implemented. And this elevator is not, oh, there it is. Um, I just keep coming up again and again to the problem of there's not much to do. And for me, this really kind of, comes as a parallel to um, Subnautica, because Subnautica is a game that's been in early access for a long time, and they have had frequent, frequent updates uh, throughout its its life cycle. I mean, I've, I've put in well over 100 hours just tooling around in that game. And in every single one of the releases, um, I've played it, gotten to the point where where I've decided, man, eh, I've, I've done enough stuff now. And then I leave it alone until the next update. And then I end up doing all the same stuff again, which I, in my opinion is fine because, uh, how do I get down? There we go, here we go. You know, because I enjoy it well enough. But once, once I get to the end of the content, I'm kind of done. Subnautica also has the advantage of having an extensive wiki page um, where like, there's, there's all the info, and I don't think the devs really had anything to do with that. The, it's all been the, the player base coming up with it. So perhaps this game will also... Oh, here we go. Will also have that same benefit. So here I get carpet. Oh boy, a wall lamp, a wooden roof, which is nice, because it's a different roof type, and a decorative sail. And I can learn all these things, which is great. Its problem is gone. Okay, my waypoint's gone. Open and close the map, and waypoints are back. Okay, good. It's raining. These rain effects are fucking horrible. Here's the first person raining stuff. And it, it works a little bit as though you're looking through glass and everything's, you know, water's running down the glass. Uh, but when you go into first, into third person, and it's essentially the exact same filter being placed over. Uh, I mean, come on, guys. Come on. So. Um, do I want to go straight over the mountain? Yeah, I'm going to go straight over the mountain. Um, so this is really all there is to, to know uh, Novus and Septio. The, the game needs work. Is it worth your time and money now? I don't know. If you If you want just a 
not a game, but a wander around and collect stuff activity, then yeah, this is actually really good. Like, for me, a game like this would scratch the exact same itch as playing an MMO, like World of Warcraft or whatever. Uh, mostly because I don't ever PvP. I, I raid and, and I do stuff with my guild. Um, but, like, as far as just having mindless tasks to do, yeah, this, this is actually really great for that. As far as... Um, having deep, meaningful gameplay, this this does not have that yet. So, so I don't know. I'm I'm, you know, on the fence. He's addressing the part about it being early access. The game, it, it's obvious that the dude is still working on it. He's, I mean, there have been updates. Uh, I think even th even this month there was an update. Um, and he posted something on the Steam forums, which he uses as the game forums, uh, just today. Uh, today being uh, late January 2017. I know that's not a today. But oh, I'm out of stamina. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't. I don't look at this and think, oh, the, the dude's just, you know, trying to get the money and then he's going to scram with it. Uh, it's obvious that he's still putting in work into it. He's still putting in effort to it. He's he's still making it. But I think the game is significantly hampered by the fact... Oh, is this silver? I need silver. Yeah. Uh, significantly hampered by the fact that, that it is just one dude working on it. And, and that kind of hurts. I'm like, I don't know why I need silver. I don't need silver because I don't need anything. Um, ooh, that's steep. Crap. Oh, this is going to give me a chance to try the climbing skill. So climbing lets you scale something that you wouldn't ordinarily be able to scale, like this. If I... Does it let me stay on? It does. Nice. But you're slow as fuck. See, that... That's the target. That is another nice thing about the game. The you know, a, a put a point of forethought that the developers put in all of these towers where you can resurrect um, when you die either of old age or or whatever. I mean, the the view distance for them is really really far. Also, the engine uh, he's using Unity, and and I don't know if he's had to do extra optimization for it or. Or if just Unity 5 is just that great. But um, I have all of the video options, you know, basically maxed out except, I guess, density and stuff. Uh, and, and I'm getting, you know, 100 plus frames a second. It'll go down when I'm in a really dense area or where I've built stuff. Uh, but it goes down to like 50 or 60 if I turn on VSync, you know, I'm I'm pretty much locked at at 59 because for some reason or other my monitor has a prime refresh rate, which is really frustrating because that means it never goes down to 14 uh, or you know 15 rather. There's also minor fall damage implemented, but I don't think I'm gonna fall from this and take damage. Part of my intent in coming out here uh, was to actually get logs of wood because 
I, I, I need it for my house. Here's another nice thing. Like, so here, this thing has 29 fucking azaleas. If I just hit E or click on it one time, it does all of this for me. And that's really sweet, because if I open up my character sheet, uh, notice I'm doing nature stuff. And so I'm scaling this up. And I have no idea what, what good that is. But, you know, whatever. I'll take it. I'm just glad that I don't have to click E every single time. You know, but you notice that, you know, that spire still glows. And if you look up in the sky, you know, you can see that blue shaft going straight up. So, so it's always possible to figure out, you know, how and where to, to get to a respawn uh, place. And you never lose anything if you die. Which is great. But I've been working my way over here for, I guess, about 20 minutes uh, since I started back on this character. And, you know, in those 20 minutes, I've, you know, gotten a couple years older, which is bizarre. Especially considering night hasn't fallen yet. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm not going to go through that rift because I don't think there's anything... Uh, there are any new or different uh, events to see inside the rifts, or at least if there have been, I haven't seen them. It's always either been that that tunnel with the mushrooms, or um, and that's what it normally is. Uh, but it's either the tunnel with the mushrooms or uh, the 1940s snow and airplanes, or that uh, desert island. I'm out of stamina again. Let's go ahead and have some soup. And I'm satisfied, which means it doesn't decay. So I'm going to drink some water. And yay! satisfied. Um, not to harp on, on how great it is too much, but as I said with the tutorial or, or the help, it's it's very, very complete. Um, if you look down in the bottom, there's that uh, FT, like you have HP, and that's fairly obvious. ST is fairly obvious because you know, it's obviously stamina because as you run around, you consume it. And then there's that foot, like 100% foot. What the fuck is foot? Well, if you go into the help and you look at the base UI, um, let's see, base stats. Here we go. Fitness. Fitness is to total character status. It's affected by all other things. It affects stamina recovery, consumption, and also other stuff. So the game does an excellent job of explaining everything that you need to know uh, which you know for early access game that's really great the other thing I could compare this to is uh, Planet Explorers and Planet Explorers when it first came out in, in early access was about this good um, the graphics were stylistically different and there were actual like quest NPCs that you could run around and talk to um, but as far as like crafting and doing things, it was it was it was pretty decent. Unfortunately, there was an update that came out later on after like almost a year of inactivity. That in that update, in my opinion, like fucked everything. It may be that that update since has been updated to fix things, but uh, building uh, construction in that game went to shit. The um, you know, foraging, all that stuff just, just became crap. Um, but let's go ahead and see if we can't convince one of these puppies to kill us. It's probably going to take a long time because of level. 
Um, but notice he has 15 health, which means I might actually kill him with just one hit. If I can actually hit him. There we go. So notice he's low level, and he does, like, uh, I, I hit him for 14 points. And let's see if he comes back to attack me. I have 81 health right now. Go ahead, bite me, puppy. Go ahead, bite me. <sighs> He's not biting. Oh, God. There we go. He did a single point of damage in that turn anyway. Okay, so that's not going to happen. Um, just, just take my word for it. Um, when you die, you just have to run back into the house, which is why, um, it, it's nice to be able to see where these towers are so that you don't get lost. But, you know, for right now, that, that's about all there is to the game. Um, let's chop down a tree. Because there there's a couple of, like, actually really nice touches to it. So we're getting chopped down this tree. Uh, so I come up to the tree, and, you know, there's resin that you can get. There's going to be branches. And then bark. Bark is used in composting. Farming in this game is a pain in the fucking ass. Uh, like, like, like going vegan in this is 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 not something I would do because it is in my opinion not worth your time uh, but so no, I just like collected stuff like resin bark and, and branches off of it and I can do it again after I've chopped it down which to me is a nice touch because it's essentially implying before you were able to do only the low hanging stuff now you can get at the higher hanging you know, the, the higher trees. The thing that I don't like about this is that when you chop it up, you have to chop it up uh, one by one. Unlike mining and and branch picking and uh, and and everything else. Um, where you just keep doing it until until the, the resource is exhausted. So that's it's a pain because it means you have to keep paying attention to it. Um, and it, it's also inconsistency in, in the design. But, you know, but there we go. I've, I've, I've done that. Uh, so yeah, this, is, this has been basically an hour of Noah's Inceptio. And I, I guess uh, just to do it, if you want to repair things uh, that you can repair, uh, like my knife, um, I can repair it just by clicking on it. And I don't think it consumes any materials, which I assume is going to change at some point in time. Uh, but like this torch, I, I can't repair it. I guess I could improve it, but that would be dumb because you can't ever repair it. So it's that consumable is gone. Um, but if you continue to use them until they're, they're destroyed, then uh, they, they're just destroyed so yeah this has been Novus Inceptio like I said if you want a uh, a mellow running around and just picking shit up simulator this is really great uh, there's nothing to do and there's almost no threat when you're in combat it's it's trivially easy to run away from everything um which is good, because at higher levels, you can't do any damage to anything. So, oh, why bother to fight it? Uh, and building is tedious, and a pain in the butt. So, I would say don't get it quite yet, but absolutely keep an eye on it. If if you like the style of game. Um, I don't know what's gonna what type of multiplayer it's going to have in the end. Uh, whether it's going to be cooperative or PvP, but but we shall see. So uh, for the 
one viewer that I had that, that dipped in briefly. I appreciate your, your viewer. To anyone who comes to check this out later, uh, thank you for having watched. And I hope that everyone has an absolutely lovely day.